Welcome back boys and girls and yes I'm smiling because I have something really special for you guys today. It's Daniel Defense Delta 5 in 308 20 inch barrel. Now this is a brand new rifle from Jeans Armory and he wanted me to set it up with a scope and break in the barrel, check the accuracy and do a review on it. So thank you Jin. And he brought me a box full of goodies. I got scopes, ammunition and bipods. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. Let's get started. All right, let's see what we got in here. And this comes in plastic case. It says Daniel Defense on it. Okay, we have a receipt here. We have a rifle. And we have bolt and magazine in here. All right, let's take a look. Beautiful rifle. It comes with one five round magazine. This is a little disappointing. This is supposed to be a PMAC. Okay, this is the bolt. It's not too heavy, but the handle has a good size to it, and it's got a nice grip on it, so you could get the finger on it really nice. And I heard that you could change this very easily just by untwisting it. Came with the island wrench. And the bus stop spacer. And a sticker and a manual. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, let's do a quick review on this rifle. First, the price. MSRP on this is $17.99. And he told me he paid $17.99. So it cost him $1,800 for this rifle. And overall length is 4 inches long. The barrel length is 20 inches long. And it comes with threaded barrel. It starts with a heavy barrel and then it kind of tempers down. They would also reduce the barrel vibration just like a heavy barrel. And tempering it down, I think they would also reduce the weight of the rifle as well. According to them, weights 8.9 pounds, which is not too heavy and which is not too light either. So I think this would be great for bench rifle and even for hunting. As a hunter, that's important for me. And also my understanding is that you could change the barrel to different caliber like 6.5 Primo which comes in 24 inches barrel and that barrel costs about $582. So price is not bad but that's going to increase the weight of the rifle to 9.5 pounds. But I would prefer 20 inch barrel. And this comes with a score base which is 20 MOA and this feels really solid so I like that. And the safety is two stage. And I heard that from the factory, the trigger comes set at 3.5 or 4 pounds, but you could adjust it down to 1.5. And I know Jin's Army, he loves light triggers, so I'm gonna probably adjust it down to 1.5, but I'm gonna take the trigger as well. This polymer stock is really nice and flat down here, I like that. Because when you make a shot, you could really put this on a rest or anywhere, and it will give that steady shot. And the stock is M lock system, so you could add a bipod or whatever you want. And this also comes with adjustable chick rest, so you could just turn that and pull that up, tighten that up. 
and you could have it any way you want it. So this is also very nice. And if you need it, you could add the spacer for the extra length for your bus stop. And this comes with a little groove here, so so you could have your other hand holding it down like this for the extra stability. I think that's really cool. And as for the pistol grip, it has a groove up here so that you don't have to grab it like this. You could just put your hand up here and that's going to prevent you from pulling when you pull the trigger. And it's on both sides for right-handed and left-handed. And this also comes with the M-Lock system down here so you could have a pot for the bus stop rest. And again, came with one magazine. They could have given another one with 20 rounds. That would have been nice. Now the magazine release is something that I'm not used to. You actually pull it down from here, just like that. And you could do it from both sides for left and righty. The trigger here and the trigger guard is really nice and fat. I'm not sure if you need all that meat on it, but, but it actually looks really nice. Now the recoil pad is not really all that soft. I think if the recoil pad was a little bit softer, it would have been nicer. And the bolt release button is actually right here. It's kind of hard to see. But if you pull the bolt out, push that, that comes out, just like that. All right, let's feel the trigger. Wow, it's very clean. I don't think that's four pounds. I think there will be more like maybe three pounds. We'll see, let's check it. Yeah, it's actually 3 pounds and 0.1 ounce. So this is set at 3 pounds. So I'm not sure if we need to adjust the trigger. And the trigger is not made by Daniel Defense. It's actually Timmy trigger. Okay, let's weight the rifle. It actually weighs 9.6 ounce. It's a lot more than what they say. I think when they weight it, it might be without the scope base. Now with the magazine, 9.9 .9 ounce, so it has a good weight to it. Okay, let's see what else he brought me. 7.62, but honestly, it only says 308, so I'm not gonna mess with 7.62. Now this is scope mount, and I got 308 ammunition here, box of that, another box of 308. I got five pot, and I have Arkan SH4 Gen 2 scope in it. Now as for the ammunition, I have three 308 rifles, so I have some different ammunition. So I'm going to try different ones and see which one has the best group. Let's go base. Okay, this is really hefty. Okay, here it says 20 MOA. So that I'm a little confused. We have 20 MOA base. And we have another 20 MOA scope mount. So that makes it 40 MOA. So I'm a little confused, but let's give it a try. Okay, we have Arcan SH4 Gen 2 scope. Now this is a big scope, heavy scope, and he paid $450 for this. And it's got an HD glass, first focal plane radical, zero stop, 50 BMG caliber rated, fog proof, waterproof, and the power is from 6 to 24, 50 millimeter, and this feels like a one heavy scope. And it also comes with worldwide lifetime warranty. Wow, worldwide. Never seen that before. Wow, that is a big scope. That is one big ass scope. Let's weight the scope. So that's two pounds 
and 5.1 ounce. I would prefer smaller and lighter even if means lower power. Like up to power 15 is more than enough for 308 but power 24 for 308 and putting all that weight I'm not sure. Okay, it's got a really nice click and very visible all around and it's got a parallax adjustment as well from 25 yards to infinity. The glass looks clear. I'm not too sure about multi coating or HD on it. It doesn't have that color to it. It does a little bit. And this scope illuminates for the crosshair and that's where you put the battery in. I assume. Yep. Okay, it didn't come with a battery. Yep, it's nice and bright. Okay, as you've seen it, it doesn't eliminate the whole crosshair, but just the center. I think that's not a bad idea. You can turn it on and off at any power. A dot means off and a number means on. So if you want to have a brightness of 6, or turn it off. Okay, Jin, I have one present for you. That's my battery. Now, once you zeroed in your scope, you could screw down that, and that's going to give the zero stop. Okay, I'm going to clean the rifle, mount the scope, and hit the range. I'm not going to bore you with all that stuff because you've seen on my channel many, many times. Okay, I'm done with mounting the scope, but again, I'm not too sure about the scope ring mount. I think it's too high, and the base is 20 mm away, the mount is 20 mm away, so there's total of 40 mm away, and there's too much gap here, so I had to raise the chick rest to the almost highest. But I mount it as it is, and I think we should go out and shoot it and see how she goes. Well, it wasn't easy, but first focal plane means that the size of your crosshair will change with the power of your scope, meaning you could practice at any power, the same dope, and you're on it. And honestly, that was a major factor that I was able to shoot that elk three years ago at 580 yards. So this is at power 24, and this is power 6. I know James Army likes light trigger, so I'm going to attempt to adjust the trigger down to the minimum, one and a half pounds. Okay, adjusting a trigger pull was really easy. I think I have it about a one and a half pounds, and I don't want to go any lighter. Okay, let's check the trigger pull one more time. One pound and 7.5 ounce. Wow, that is really light. I think Jin should be happy with this. All right, this rifle with a bipod, it was 13 pounds and 3.5 ounce. As you guys know, I like to show my shooting with a review, but with this rifle and this scope, review was too long. So as for the shooting, I'm going to take part two, but I'm going to shoot different kind of ammunition and try to find out which ammunition is the best for this rifle. And I'm also going to compare with my heavy barrel DPMS in 308 and my heaviest rifle and the heavy barrel in 6.5 Primo. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have in your life with what you got, but mostly stay tuned for the shootout. See ya.